We're going to head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Um, this one uh, about Nick Chubb not taking a knee, going into the end zone, something that I've said is so far down the problem list, um, it's not even worth thinking about. Uh, here is the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, this is Av from Lexington, Kentucky. One thing that kind of bothers me is that you keep mentioning that this thing with Nick Chubb not going down before scoring that final touchdown is like really low on the list of problems with the Browns. I don't get that because by not doing that, they actually lost the game. And if they would have run out the clock down there on the goal line, they would have won the game. And none of the other things would make any difference whatsoever. So I think it's a really big thing that they didn't do. And I blame the head coach for not knowing what to do in that situation. I think it's terrible. Thank you. Bye. We're going to differ on these. And um, I want you to think of it this way. What has an offensive player tried to do? Offensive players try to get into the end zone and score. Nick Chubb did that. What does a defensive player try to do? He tries to keep people from getting in the end zone and scoring. Our defensive unit twice messed that up. Our special teams missed an extra point. Our special teams failed to cover an onside kick. So if you want to look in hindsight, sure, and Kevin Stefanski admitted that. In hindsight, sure, he would have told him that. But you're coaching around two of your three units. Nobody is going to do that. Nobody. I mean, come on. I'm sure if you asked Mrs. Lincoln, she wouldn't have said Abraham to the play that night either. <laughs> yeah, all good points. And the one thing is like, okay, we're mad at the offense for being too good at offense. Like, you know, I, what, did we think that was going to be the problem this year? It was, oh... Some people are going to be bad. The offense are being too good. That's basically what we're doing. They were too good uh, uh, on Sunday. Come on. Um, and also, people forget the two minute warning either had just happened or was about to happen at that moment. So you wouldn't have ran the clock down as much as people think. You would have still gave them the ball back with like 40, 50 seconds left. Let's say you don't score because you go down and take a knee and then you kick a field goal and K. York misses that field goal. Or you just, you make the field goal, you go up 10 and this still happens to you, right? Like it did not take the Jets much time there. The problem isn't that they scored the touchdown and gave the ball back. The problem is the two touchdowns that happened in 80 seconds. That's the problem. Anybody trying to tell you this is on anybody else other than the people who gave up and were responsible for two touchdowns in 80 seconds with no timeouts to a 37-year-old Joe Flacco is looking to reasons to blame either Kevin Stefanski or this offense. That's a ridiculous thing to do. 80 seconds. You had 80 seconds to play solid defense and only allow one touchdown, Dave. They only had to allow one touchdown. That's it. They could have given up a touchdown. They would have been all right. You know what I mean? They could have did their job poorly, and they could have still done all right in that situation. They were up 13 points. It should not have mattered if Nick Chubb scored that touchdown. And it's this incredible game of hindsight that people love to play after a game that, that's unfair to everything that while it's happening in real time because I promise you that dude was cheering when Nick Chubb scored the touchdown. He wasn't thinking, oh man, that's the travesty. We didn't kneel the ball down. No, he wasn't thinking that in a moment, but he wants everybody else to be thinking that. And that's the ridiculous. Kevin Stefanski can't tell the future. He can't tell the future. That's a that's also a loser's mentality. You you, you go out you, you take a knee because you don't think your team is good enough to hold on to a 14-point lead. That's a loser's mentality. And again, we, I appreciate all the voicemails. You'll never convince me that Nick Chubb should not have tried to score a touchdown. Never. Not happening. Let's keep it real, Dave. Yeah. The best part of this team is supposed to be the defense. Right. You're supposed to be thinking, we're up 14 points. We got Miles Garrett and Denzel Ward on that side. We're good, right? That You're not supposed to be thinking this is an abysmal defense. This is not 2020. This is not 2019. These are not those abysmal defenses they were sending out there. These guys are well qualified, and they just embarrassed themselves defensively. That's it. That's it. Um, you know, I don't blame Kevin Stefanski for thinking that Miles Garrett and this defense could stop a team from scoring 14 points in less than 80 seconds.